For many years now, Pandoc has been the desired tool to do conversions from a Microsoft Word format into Markdown. This video is about a new entry into the marketplace. It's called the Markdown Converter Toolkit for Microsoft Word. We're going to discuss some of the features and advantages of this product over Pandoc. But before we do that, let's agree on the power of a word processor to create Markdown content. Writing great Markdown is important for the success of your project. A great README helps your project stand out from the vast sea of open source projects on GitHub. That's why it's important to choose the best possible tooling to create your Markdown. Without question, the best way to create Markdown is to use a proper, full-featured and powerful word processor, something like Microsoft Word. Word processors are optimized to process paragraphs, pages, and entire papers, incorporating all of the important elements of tables, images, formatting features. And let's not forget the easy navigation, spell checkers, grammar checkers, editors, and the ability to see the structure of your document in outline format. And these features are just the tip of the iceberg about the power that a word processor can bring to your README. Imagine that this is the Word document that you want to convert. Notice it has a simple header, a paragraph, and the image. Now to get the appropriate rendered markdown syntax, let's examine the difference between Pandoc and the Markdown Conversion Toolkit for Word. Pandoc is the most popular tool today for doing these type of conversions. Its power lies mostly in the fact that it can convert from many different formats to other formats. But what we want to focus on today is converting from Microsoft Word into Markdown. The problem is Pandoc falls short in many core areas. One of those areas is image processing. You can see here Pandoc on the left and its corresponding Markdown for image conversion. Notice that it simply puts the dimensions for an image rather than actual references to an image. And as a result, the Markdown below is really inadequate. Over here on the right, you can see the markdown that was generated by the Markdown Conversion Toolkit for Word. It is the properly laid out reference for an image. And below, you can see that, in fact, the image is properly rendered. Another important area where Pandoc falls short is in the processing of tables. So over here in the top left, you can see the conversion for Microsoft Word leaves a lot to be desired. And so when this markdown is finally rendered, as you can see here, it's not very readable. What you really want to do is the conversion as you see here in the upper right, which follows the best practices for Word table support in Markdown syntax. And so what you see here in the lower right corner is really what you want as far as rendered Markdown content. So the next topic is code snippets, an important topic for any repo on GitHub. So what you see here is a simple Word code snippet. It's nothing more than a single cell table formatted to console us font. Now let's talk about what we want that to look like once it's rendered in Markdown. What you see here is a code snippet rendered by Pandoc that has a bunch of ASCII boxes around it. Now that might not be the best outcome for Markdown. What you want is something quite different. After all, when you render that, here in the lower left, you can see that, in fact, it looks quite unreadable formatted that way uh, once it's rendered. What you want is to use the triple tick, as you see here. Um, that's the syntax desired by the Markdown uh, product. And over here below, you can see that, indeed, we have code properly formatted. So here in Microsoft Word, we see a numbered list along with a bulleted list. So nothing really special here other than uh, a simple outline. Now what you see here with Pandoc is quite troubling. We are missing the bullet list that we, sh we saw earlier. So that's a big problem. And of course, when you render that, it's missing as well. However, over here with the Markdown Conversion Toolkit, you can see that, in fact, the bulleted list was included. And obviously, once it's included in the Markdown, when it's rendered here below, you can see that it works. So that wraps up this demonstration comparing the features. Again, to summarize, Pandoc does a really poor job with images, with tables, with code, and bullet lists. So check out Word to Markdown Toolkit. Simply check it out at wordtomarkdown.com.